Well, homeowners and renters may see a drastic 42 to 51 percent insurance rate hike come August. But North Carolina's insurance commissioner says that his office is now negotiating to bring those rates down. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks tonight explains how the proposed rate hike could hit your pocket. Insurance rates are going up, but North Carolina Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey says he's working to make sure the hike is manageable for North Carolina households. There's a lot of inflation. Gas prices are up. Food prices are up. Um, everything's up, right? So he understands that for many people, um, this is, you know, this is not feasible. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports inflation came in slightly higher than expected last month at 3.2 percent compared to the same period last year. The S&P Global Market Intelligence found that the homeowner's insurance jumped 11.3 percent in 2023. It's hard to swallow that uh, this increase would be necessary given the salaries that the CEOs of the major insurance companies take. It is a threat to the lives and well-being of our neighbors. Wall Street. In a national scope, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell weighed in saying inflation is staying high because the economy is increasingly uninsurable. You got to think 10 years from now, how are you going to get housing insurance? And, you know, maybe the government will have to step in, but it's uh, it's a significant issue. For the city of Charlotte, Alexander, Iredale, Mecklenburg County, Stanley, Wilkes, and Union counties, the proposed homeowner's rate increase would be 41.3 percent. And for the surrounding counties like Cabarrus and Rowan, a 25.1 percent increase. It's a rate that would become effective on August the 1st. Uh, if if we were to accept it. But negotiations would begin if the commissioner doesn't accept the increase. The Bureau, if a settlement cannot be reached within 50 days, then the commissioner would, would call for a hearing. Reporting in Charlotte, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.